Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use date and time with your Qt C++ GUI application. So I'm going to make a digital clock which will run as our simple digital clock runs. And I will show you how uh, you can show current date and time uh, and uh, how to make a watch which is running as our digital clock. So for example, this digital clock is running and it's showing the second changes. So I'm going to make uh, something like this as a digital clock. So let's get started. For example, I will take a label from here and I will make it bigger so that you can see and I will change the text of this as digital clock okay and maybe I will change its uh, text also clock and let me change the font size so it will look bigger so bold and let's choose 26 okay so now our label is done then what we will do is i will go to this edit just click this edit button and i will go to the header files in your project and i will go to the main window.h so if you have created new fresh project it has a main window.h or whatever project name.h and it will have uh, your project name.cpp and it will have a main.cpp file. So I will go to the project.h header file and I will go to this private slots here. Go to private slots and here I will make a method called void. show time bracket and bracket close so this is the declaration of method i'm going to make in the cpp file so now once this is done i will go to this uh, main, main window.cpp or your project.cpp and i will go at the top let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see okay so I will go at the top and I will include include Q timer once again Q timer and let me add one more thing include Q date time also okay so i have included two header files one is q timer and second is q date time and now what i will do is first of all i will make the 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 show time method here so whatever i have created this show time method declaration i will copy it from here just copy it like this and I'll go to the main.cpp file paste it there and I will just give the main window declaration and then I will make these two brackets curly braces okay so this is in these bracket we are going to make our method so anyhow what I will do is I will uh, declare a variable so I will write Q time time is equal to Q time and then I, I can choose the type of time I want to show for example, I want to show current time. I will choose this current time and 
bracket closed and then I will declare a Q string. Q string and this will be time text for example is equal to and then I will copy this time Q time variable or object and I will write dot to string and inside this bracket we can provide the format of the time we want to show so for example I want to show the time time like this so double digit hours double digit minutes and two digit seconds so I will write HH and then I will give uh, a space and the semicolon then I will write mm for minute and then I will give a space uh, I will give a semicolon and then I will write ss for second so this is for hour this is for minute and this is for second so you can change your uh, time format according to see yourself it's not necessary that you should write here semicolon you can give dash also here or whatever you want to give you can give star or it's upon you but this format should be consistent okay r minute and six second now what i will do is uh, i just want to set text to my label label so i have this label which i have declared whose name is digital clock right i will copy the name and i will go to the method which is show time once again and i will write ui and then i will select the digital clock label and then i will say set text and i will copy this q string time text and paste it here so now my show time method is done and now what i want to do is i want to update this method continuously every second okay so right now for example this is the constructor of your project so this is for example you have the project called main window or whatever it creates the header and cpp file called main window and this is the constructor of your uh, file okay so in this constructor wherever your ui and arrow pointer setup ui is there and just just below that what you can do is you can copy the show time method and paste it here and give the semicolon and now you can run the program and it should show the current time yes it's showing the current time but there is one problem it's not a running time we want a digital clock which is running it's showing the correct time you can just verify it from here the same time it's showing but it's not showing the running time so we want to show the run running time so what we can do is I will just delete the show time method from the constructor and what I can do is I can use signal and slot method here to update my time which I have shown you in one of those uh, starting videos so what I what I can do is I can write Q timer and I can write timer and let me make it a pointer so I will write pointer is equal to new Q timer bracket and bracket closed and in this bracket I will say this so this indicate this form and in the next line I will use the signal and slot method so I will write here connect and make it a bracket and bracket closed and I will pass four argument first is the signal argument and 
comma i will write whatever is my signal so i will write signal and in the bracket i will pass the method called timeout okay and i will leave it like that and the third is third argument would be this and the fourth argument would be my show time method so whenever this timer ticks a uh, my show method is also called so i will write slot and in the bracket i will pass my method which is show time which is this method okay and the last line what i will write here is i will start my timer so i will just copy my timer object from here and i say timer start so it will start my timer as soon as my constructor is called and my constructor is called whenever i run my program so just write these three lines in your constructor and just make this show time method let's try and run the program and let's see if it's giving us the running time or not and now you can see the time is running and you can match it's the same time which is running here okay so in this way you can show the running time one more uh, thing you can do is you can use this time as you want so if you want to show this current uh, instead of current time you want to show current date and time you can show there that also so i will show you one more interesting thing here so you go to your show time method and after your the declaration of your time object if you can give this condition if you give this condition so write if and in the bracket pass time dot second so it will see every second and then give this percent sign and give two so it will divide your time by two is equal to zero so every second i want to tick this colon sign so you see here uh, my this is my zero index of this text so i will just replace this text by time text because this is a time text and it should this should come below this because my declaration of time is here so what i can do is i can because if it's this is a, an array then the index of this array is first this is 0 1 and this space is 2 and this semicolon is 3 so i'll write here as 3 and this space is 4 first m is 5 second m is 6 space is 7 and this second semicolon is 8 so if you give this condition you can make your digital clock more interesting just run your program once again and now you can see it's working like a real digital clock with this semicolon comes and goes every second okay and what else you can do with with time you can also show current date and time so i will take a label once again here and i will change its font once again and i will show you how to show current date and time also so i will change the label as date time and i will copy this 
and uh, then what I can do is I will go add to edit and go to CPP and once again I will go to the constructor where I have declared this timer and what I can do is here also I can declare Q time and I will say date time is equal to Q time and then I can choose date time from here so just search for uh, the date and time I can't find the date and time this should be Q date time so I will write Q date time then I can show the date and time okay and I will copy this here and then I will write now I can choose the current date and time from here just choose this current date and time and once again I will declare a queue string queue string and I can write date time text for example is equal to this date time dot to string okay and now I can show it in the other label so I can write UI and then I choose my date time label and then I can say set text and I can set the current date and time in the second label and when I will run my program I have this digital clock and I have this current date and time printed here also this should be a little bit bigger and it will show the year also so let me make it bigger and I will make this longer and I will run it okay let me run it so uh, it should show the 2013 here I haven't make it bigger or what so I think you have understood how can how you can display date and time. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.